these are the other really big breeders here on Christmas Island. They are ridiculously easy to see and I imagine even more of a marvel to study. This is a dream laboratory for ornithologists. With readily accessible research subjects filling every conceivable niche. Brown boobies in particular just love the place, occupying the only soft spot on the entire coastal fringe. Fantastic birds, aren't they? In biologist Mark Holdsworth's heart. So these are my favourite boobies of all, I think, brown boobies. Are they? Yeah, very spectacular. And, dare I say, sure-footed. I mean, I look at these sharp rocks and I think, hmm, it's not a place I'd want to live and raise a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really harsh environment. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, they make a go of it. Um, and they seem to be able to get around without injuring themselves too much. Can you tell the difference between the male and the female? Yeah, the female's got a yellower coloured beak. Okay. And she honks. She's honking now, so that's the female there. And the male's just over the back there. He, he hisses and has a bluish coloured beak. The brown is one of three species of booby that breed on Christmas Island. The others are the red-footed booby, nesting in the forests in the middle terrace, and higher up in the rainforest canopy, the last Abbott's boobies on Earth. I suppose there's enough habitat type there and it, it provides a niche for each of those three species and they've, they've taken advantage of that and are able to nest here quite successfully. So what else do you have on the shore terrace? Yeah, the uh, red-tailed tropic birds uh, nest here just on the edges, mostly on the cliff edges. Yep. And we've also got the common noddy, that's a, a type of tern. They prefer those areas because they're away from potential uh, predators, the crabs. Uh, and also a little bit of protection from the frigate birds, which are always hassling birds for a free, <laughs> free feed. So the pirates of the bird world. Indeed. <laughs> There's a lot of work that goes into it to get a feed out of a, a booby, and they'll have many misses, so they try, keep trying, trying, eventually they get a free feed. 80,000 seabirds nest here annually, but Mark assures me overcrowding's not an issue. In fact, there's so much habitat, land birds feature in the Christmas mix as well, including the Christmas Island Imperial Pigeon, the Island Thrush, and the Christmas Island Whiteye. Many of the, the land birds that are here are very common and spread throughout because they don't have much competition. So we don't have a lot of diversity in the bird life here, but we've got sheer numbers of each species. Less prolific, however, are the island's endemic predators. The Christmas Island hawk owl and Mark's favourite raptor, the endangered Christmas Island goshawk. 